All right, guys, next we're going to analyze the strength of the competition for our top keywords. And the reason we want to analyze the strength is because if we cannot rank on the first page of Google for a specific keyword, then there is no reason we should be targeting that keyword. So we're going to analyze the top 10 results on uh, Google, and we'll be able to tell if we can outrank uh, any of those results so that we can be on the first page of Google ourselves. And uh, in order to help us do this, we're going to be using a plugin called SEO for Firefox. Um, at the beginning of this course, I recommended that you downloaded the browser uh, Firefox. If you guys aren't using Firefox, you can find similar plugins for different browsers. You're just going to have to do uh, some research yourself. But we're going to be using SEO for Firefox in this tutorial. So to get started, let's go ahead and click on um, your spreadsheet. Go inside your spreadsheet. And I'm going to go ahead and search for the very first keyword. And then we're going to open up uh, Google in a new tab. And we're going to search for that keyword. And there are three things that we can uh, look for without using the uh, SEO plugin. Uh, the first thing is the keyword in the title. The next is the keyword in the domain and the keyword in the description. So we have Dottie's weight loss in the title here. We do not have Dottie's weight loss in the domain name. And we have weight loss in the description. Uh, however, this looks like it's the product website. So this might be hard to outrank. So let's go ahead and scroll down and analyze a few more of these. We have Dottie's weight loss in the title. We have Dottie's weight loss in the domain name. And we have Dottie's weight loss in the description. So this is pretty well optimized. Um, the next one down, we've got Dottie's weight loss in the title, the domain, and the description. Uh, the same thing with, well, actually this says Dottie's weight lose. They just spelled loss incorrectly. So we have Dottie's weight in the title, in the domain, and in the description. Oh, we have Dottie's weight loss in the description too. And then uh, it looks like the same thing for uh, the last one, except for it's not in the description. But um, that doesn't mean that we cannot outrank these guys because we can do the same thing with our website. We can put the keyword in the title, we can put the keyword in the domain, and we can also put the keyword in the uh, description. So in order to further analyze this, we're going to have to go to um, our SEO uh, for Firefox plugin, and we're going to have to turn that on. So if you have not already downloaded the plugin, make sure you download SEO for Firefox and install it and then restart your Firefox so it works. And then um, we're also going to have to turn off uh, Google Instant because uh, that will keep the plugin from working. So the first thing we need to do after you've installed the plugin is go over to your um, Google options, your Google search options. And to get here to this page, you're going to have to uh, search for something. So put in something into the search bar, search for it, and then you'll have this option over here to the right. Click on the Google options, click on search settings. And then down here where it says Google Instant Predictions, check the last bubble where it says Never Show Instant Results. Scroll all the way to the bottom, click Save, and click OK. And next we're going to go ahead and turn on SEO for Firefox. So click on the SEO for Firefox button inside of your browser. And I'm going to go ahead and search for uh, my keyword again. And now you can see that there is more information displayed underneath each search result. And this is what SEO for Firefox is bringing back for us. So we're only going to leave a few options toggled, and we're going to turn everything else off. So if you go up to SEO for Firefox, click on the drop down next to the button, and click on Options. And here, we're going to go ahead and enable disable SEO for Firefox. We're going to check that box. Enable disable highlighting. Leave that box unchecked. And for the toggle info blocks, uh, next to each option, we're going to have uh, three different selections that we can choose from. We can choose either on demand, we can choose automatic, or we can choose hidden. And on demand means that uh, whenever we search for search results, the details displayed underneath the search results will come back with a question mark. And if we click on that question mark, um, we'll be able to see uh, the details for that specific option. And this way, if you guys are doing a lot of research with this tool, Google won't penalize you for bringing back too much information. So if you guys plan on using this tool a lot, I suggest uh, you set each of these options to on-demand. 
Since this is just an example, I'm going to go ahead and set each of these uh, options that I have on to automatic. And make sure that yours looks like mine as I scroll down. So either set yours to automatic or on demand. And then the ones that I have hidden, make sure you hide those as well. So I've got PR on. I've got age on. I've got Yahoo EDU links, Yahoo Gov links, Yahoo EDU page links on. I've got DMOZ on. Yahoo directory on. Google position on. Unique linking domains to website and unique linking domains to page. Both of those are set to on. And uh, the last three checkboxes down here, SEO X-ray, those are all off. If you're in Windows, you're going to save the settings. If you're on a Mac, go ahead and exit out of the options. And go ahead and click on search again. Okay, and let's go ahead and uh, analyze each of these search results. So this is the Google rank, number one, of course. It's the first uh, result on Google. Uh, the page rank, it's got a page rank of three. Uh, usually we can outrank um, websites that have up to page ranks of four, just depending on how well the rest of the website is optimized as far as uh, the links and uh, the domain age. Uh, so usually we can outrank a PR4 as long as it's not very well optimized. The, um, the age, usually we can outrank a, um, a domain age of four years. So this has got 11 years. This might be kind of tough to outrank uh, this website, but let's see how well the rest of it is optimized. It's got uh, Yahoo education links, 102 of them, government links, to over 200,000, and the actual EDU links pointing to this page is 104. Google sees education and government links as a high priority or a very high relevancy. So they know that any website with education or government backlinks um, is usually a, a reliable website that's uh, extremely relevant. So um, we know that it might be tough to outrank just because of the education and government links alone. So um, uh, DMOZ, it's, there is uh, no data for this. So usually if um, a website is indexed in DMOZ, uh, that shows that the website has a lot of relevancy and is reliable. Just because DMOZ is very strict about uh, who they let into their directory and Google knows this. Uh, same thing with the Yahoo directory. Usually you have to pay in order to uh, get indexed in the Yahoo directory. I think it's about $300 a year. So we know that if a website is in the Yahoo directory um, we might have a hard time outranking that. Um, the unique linking domains to the website, this has got 1800 and the unique linking domains to the page, it's got 897. So we know that uh, this website is pretty well optimized, okay? And uh, the way that we would um, try to outrank these websites is we would put our uh, keyword in the title, in the domain, and in the description. And then we'd also have heading tags inside of our uh, website. So I'm not going to bother checking this website because it's, it's extremely optimized, but I can go ahead and click on this website and see if it's got uh, the, uh, the keyword in the heading tag, which you'll see the keyword up here at the top, and you'll also see the keyword um, in um, H1 tags uh, throughout the uh, website. So we know this is pretty well optimized. Let's see if we can outrank any of these other websites that we have here. YouTube will be hard to outrank simply because it's owned by Google and it's got such a high uh, page rank and priority. Um, and of course you can see the education backlinks and the government backlinks. There's too many of them, so don't bother uh, trying to outrank YouTube. So, so far, we know the best we could do is maybe uh, the fourth result on this page. So let's see what else we've got. Uh, we know that this is good on-page optimization. It's got weight, Dottie's weight loss in the title, in the domain, and in the description. But it's got a page rank of zero, and it's got uh, 22 linking domains to uh, its uh, page, to this specific page. So we know that we're okay as far as backlinks. And let's take a look at everything else. The domain age is almost 10 years. Um, it's got a few education 
It's got a few government and it's got several page links for education and government. Um, it's got no data for DMOZ, no data for the Yahoo directory, and it's got 34,000 um, unique domains linking to its homepage. So we can see that uh, this is also going to be pretty tough to outrank, it's just solely based on uh, the information that we see here. So hopefully you guys get the idea. Um, let's see if we can outrank any of these other guys. It's got 31 backlinks, page rank of 1. It's okay, we can, we can do that. Um, it's got a pretty old uh, age, 6 years, so maybe it's going to be a bit tougher. Education links, over 13,000, it's going to be very tough. And government links, 20. I think that this is going to be a, uh, a tough one to rank for as well. So um, let's go ahead and see if we can find another keyword that we can uh, rank for. So let's go back to our weight loss keywords list. And I'm going to find uh, a keyword that stands out to me. So apple cider vinegar weight loss. Let's use that. And copy it and paste it into Google. and click on search. Okay, so we've got um, apple cider vinegar weight loss in the title. We've got apple cider vinegar weight loss in the domain name, but it's not in the description, so that's good for us. We can optimize our site um, a little bit better. It's got a page rank of three. We can outrank that if we'd like. Uh, 2007, we could probably outrank um, an age of five years, but let's see what else we've got here. We've got Yahoo Education page links, 53,000. That's quite a few. It's, that might be um, a little too many, and we're going to have a hard time outranking, um, maybe solely based on that. And then we have 22 backlinks going to the actual uh, page. So that's not so bad. We could get more than 22 backlinks to the page. So all in all, it looks like this site is going to be a little bit tough to uh, beat. So let's scroll down. Uh, we know that we cannot beat YouTube. I will show you how to use YouTube videos to beat other YouTube videos in Google uh, later on. But for now, uh, we're not going to worry about that. Um, so we can't beat YouTube. Let's scroll down and see what else we've got. Um, apple cider vinegar weight loss in the title. But it's not in the domain. It is in the description. Page rank 3, that's good. Education links, not so many. Not so many gov links. It uh, doesn't look like there's any links that link to the page. Um, there's 2,000 links to the website, which is kind of a lot. And then it says here that it's only got 23 backlinks. So this is actually something that we might be able to rank for. We might be able to uh, beat as far as uh, this keyword goes. So uh, we could, if we do a good job getting backlinks to our website and uh, do some good on-page optimization, we could outrank this website. So let's go ahead and scroll down and see what else we have. Ah, this next one looks pretty promising. It um, does not have the keyword in the title. It does not have the keyword in the domain. Um, it does have the keyword in the description. We have a page rank of one. We can easily beat that. This is uh, it's like less than two years old. We can do that. It's only got a few education backlinks, no government, and it does have quite a few education page links. But let's take a look and see what else it's got. Um, it's not in DMOZ, or else she's um, hiding the fact that it's in DMOZ. Um, it's not in the Yahoo directory. Um, there's quite a few links going to her site, but it doesn't look like there are any links going to her page. We could probably beat this site as well, based on the fact that it's a young, young website, it's got a low page rank, and there's not any uh, links going to the specific page. Um, and on top of that, we could do better on-page optimization, which I'm going to show you how to do tomorrow. So um, yeah, this is actually probably a keyword that we could rank for um, as long as we uh, get the backlinks to it. And also as long as we have good on-page SEO, which I'll show you how to do later. So that basically wraps it up for uh, analyzing our competition. Um, I know it may seem just a bit confusing at first, but if you do it a couple times, it'll start getting uh, pretty easy and you'll actually have fun doing it. So. Um, in the next video, I'm going to show you guys how to find um, LSI keywords, which is going to help us in our blog posts. And we need to know what LSI keywords are. Um, they're extremely easy to find and easy to deal with, so uh, much easier than finding your target keyword, which we have been doing uh, this entire time. 
So I will see you guys in the next lesson.